Hello friends, this is Absinthe and I am here with um, Cancer, your bi-weekly reading. Um, keep in mind, uh, this is a general reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Planets in Cancer, in their uh, Western or Vedic. Um, if you like this video, book or mo bookmark it by pressing the like button or you can also subscribe so that you can get further readings. Alright, here we go. Um, you'll see cards pulled up on your screen as well as the meanings as I uh, read them out here. Okay, first card that we have here is the star. Star is a really good auspicious card. Um, it's you having done the work, you having successfully released old limiting belief systems, you are on a different uh, plane now, you're on a different level, um, this is a reprieve after a period of turmoil, um, this is you getting to know who you really are as a person, this is you beginning to connect to your higher self. A moment of awakening no matter what life throws at you you know that this is just a movie on the earth plane that this is a test and that there is light at the end of every tunnel you can go through this is a card of being in tune with the universe having a sense of self a true sense of self a spiritual sense of self Having renewed hope, being awakened, having calm energy, and feeling blessed in your life. The next card we have here is the Nine, nine of Cups in the reverse position. Um, you have to be careful of having too much worldly ambition. Sometimes that gives us anxiety, which causes a disconnect from higher self. And it will give you a feeling of angst, anxiety. Mm -hmm. Let's spell that there. It leaves you unsatisfied with the present moment. Um, trying to chase worldly things. <clears throat> so, you have to realize what your priorities are here. And I think it's just the disconnecting or purging of the re remnants of your previous self. Okay, the self that you were before you were awakened. Um, you have to make sure that you make your intentions clear to the universe. Um, you're a great manifester in that regard. Um, everything that you say, everything that you think, does manifest itself very clearly. It was very easy for you for that to happen. Okay, so make sure whatever you're wishing for, that is for the highest good, and that you have the best intentions. Right? Um... You want to get back in touch with what is the most important to you okay in your spiritual mission make sure you're not wanting something just from the ego but it also aligns with your higher self um and we have to make sure we're not keeping up with the joneses we're not doing things just for worldly pursuits the next card that is here is two of wands so Having done the work, um, going through a discovery phase, so what is your spiritual mission, what is not part of your spiritual mission, I think you've had to sift, you know, a little bit, um, what is good and what is not, um, now you have to figure out how are you going to execute, um, how are you going to accomplish this? Um, this is the starting of a big journey ahead of you. Um, you need to be open. Continue to be open to new opportunities. Um, and you will um, have that assurance that you, know, you, will, you will reap um, success for your efforts. Um, 
even though you may not feel like you're ready as yet, um, you, you just need to establish a, a plan of action. Um, you may need to step out of your comfort zone. I know um, it's, it's a very big thing, you know, to start off on a spiritual journey. And, uh, not a lot of people really do it. They say they do it, you know, but um, it's one thing talking about it and there's another thing actually doing it. And um, you may feel like you're in the dark. Many times you may feel alone. Um, you need to retain that sense of courage. Okay. Last card here um, we got was the Ace of Wands. Uh, ideas inspire you to explore new territory. So kind of like the two card. You know, we have the one card here. They go hand in hand. So it's just sifting of those ideals which help you to progress. Um, like I said, some of these will be spiritual. Um, inspirations from the divine urging you to take command of your own destiny. So you have your aha moments, aligning with your higher self, following your heart as well as your head. Um, do what brings you joy. Look for the vibes. Look for the signs in the universe around you. Um, to guide you to take this uh, course of action. Um, you're going to have a lot of trial and error. Okay? So, it really does seem to be the beginning of a spiritual conquest for you. Um, and I'm thinking, like some of you, may even become teachers in the future. And you will be directing a lot of people. You know? Um, you can do it in a very nurturing way. Being Cancer is ruled by the moon. You know, we all know Cancer as the motherly figure. You know, and when the soldiers come home, you know, from war, and they're wounded, you know, they come to be healed, brought back to health. It's the same thing in spirituality, you know, we do work, we are somewhat, I guess, wounded in a way, we're tried by fire, you know, and then we come back, you know, to gain our insights, you know, and um, to figure out what we need to keep and what we need to throw away. So I think you need to do that. You need to go into your inner spiritual attic and just continue to do that. You know, and then figure out what course you're going to take from there and continue to do that. And don't waver and don't be afraid. You know, even if you feel alone, you know, you're not alone. There are a lot of people in the world doing the same thing you're doing. Um, you may be in disparate parts, you know, but um, universally, in the spiritual realm, we're always together. Whether we're conscious of it physically or not. Um, there's a whole other realm out there that is not comprised of physical substance. And um, the sooner that you can kind of put that into the front of your psyche and kind of make it a second nature thing to you, the easier it's going to be for you to make that transition. Okay, so that's a personal message. Okay, and that's what I got for this reading. Um, yeah, I hope that you found this insightful, and I wish you the best in your spiritual journey. Alright, Godspeed. Thank you.